And you guys, a lot going on tonight. Yeah, a lot going on. And the big question is, after all of this, did anybody move the needle? So let's get into that. Jim, uh, four candidates getting the chance to make their case across the state through all of our Next Star stations. Did anybody move the needle tonight? Not really. All right, Not that's really. it, folks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, lots of person. I think for people who hadn't seen it, you got to see some of the personalities of the candidates, got a little flavor for their policies and some slight differentiation, but there was no... Uh, no one that really broke away, I think, uh, but some of them had some interesting uh, points to make this evening. So Bill McSwain came out swinging. We kind of talked on Facebook Live. We called it Mick swinging yeah. because uh, he really, he just came out and decided yeah. to go on the attack here. Effective strategy. Why do you think he decided to go uh, with I that? I think he had to. There was, a, there was an anti-Trump endorsement, which is the first time we ever heard that. So I think he seen that. had to change his strategy. He, uh, he came out, came out early after Doug Mastriano, and then there was some some exchanges with uh, with Lou Barletta, so unusual for Bill, and uh, I don't think it worked actually. Yeah, because he was trying to make the point that he is a political outsider, and he was trying to see career politicians right. don't go with them, go right. uh, with with him. Uh, I think it was an interesting point for him to be made, but the reason why he is attacking went after Lou Barletta and Doug Mastriano because those were the front runners. How do you think they fared tonight? Uh, let's start with uh, Doug Mastriano. I think uh, nothing, there was no surprises there with Doug. That was his, uh, that's been his style, whatever. I felt like in delivery, it was a lot of content. He spoke very quickly for people who knew the message was fine, but a lot was jammed in. So, uh, so he, you know, the presentation style was a little unorthodox that way, but that's, that's his, that's been his style. And I think that the, his, his, his uh, base of voters enjoy that uh, about yeah. him. So I want to also ask, because it, it was something that was important tonight, they were talking about January 6th and his uh, involvement and whether or not there will be legal issues ahead. He came out and said no legal issues ahead. Where do you, does that put the problem to bed, do you think, for voters, or is this something that's going to be brought up? Uh, no, I next? don't think we've heard the end of it. I, you know, I think the point he was making is he had uh, constitutional rights to assemble and gather and do all that, which is also true. Uh, the subpoena question never really got answered uh, directly, so I, I don't think we've heard the end of that necessarily. Lou Barletta, his strategy tonight, talk about experience. He talked about his time as mayor of Hazleton. Yes. He talked about his time in Congress. He says with his experience, he's the one to get things done. Do you think that was effective tonight? I think it's, a, it's consistent with what he's been saying, that his name's been out there for long. He's run statewide before. Sometimes you run and lose. You can run and win. Uh, he does have some name recognition. The only thing that was a little unusual for me with Lou is he got into an exchange with Bill McSwain, which was uh, uncharacteristic for him. So it was, I saw him sort of punching down a little bit, which was uh, I didn't expect that from Lou. Yeah, that was definitely an interesting uh, exchange. And then it was a retraction and then a different with the, yeah. you voted for Obama, Obama. no, Clinton. you voted for Clinton. And then it just really wasn't cleared up uh, and at all. And not relevant. And, and not it relevant. just wasn't relevant um, at all. But, uh, and then finally, uh, Dave White. We talked about relatability, and that was something yeah. that was key with him tonight. Yeah, I th uh, a lot of people have not seen him or whatever. So for viewers or listeners, if it was your first time, I think Dave, and that is him genuinely, a lot of relatability, clear, succinct, common sense messaging. So, you know, um, he probably had the edge this evening, I think, in terms of, because he didn't, doesn't have the name recognition of the others. So I think it was uh, people probably saw a refreshing candidate with Dave. And I think tonight, we, you know, we talked about quotables with the other debates. We didn't really have any mm -hmm. uh, tonight, other than I would say if we were going to stretch, uh, uh, Dave Wade talked about we've tried attorneys, we've tried prosecutors, um, we tried politicians, and it doesn't work. He probably That was probably the strongest yeah, one-line statement. Probably closest, but not like the Senate. Not, not like the Senate. Like the Senate. The other night, yeah. Jim, thank you so much for Thanks, joining Jordan. us again and breaking it down. It's really sad we don't have any more debates to talk about for now <laughs> until we get into the general election. So I'm kind of sad that this is it for now, but uh, a lot of fun, and obviously, Make sure you're staying up to date on WeAreCentralPA.com as the May primary is approaching. Maggie, it's exciting times. Back to you. It is an exciting time, Jordan. And as a reminder, we do want to let you know that primary day is May the 17th.